Hi again, it's Tony with Too Good For Drugs. Last week we talked about managing our emotions. Today we're going to talk about effective forms of communication. What is communication? So what is communication and how do we communicate? We communicate to each other through talking, texting, phone calls, emails. There are many ways we communicate. Communication is the sending and receiving of information between one or more people in a way that could be effectively understood. So there are two parties when we communicate, a speaker and a listener. When I'm talking, I am the speaker, and when you listen and receive that information, you are the listener. Makes sense, right? However, let's say I call you on the cell phone, and you don't pick up. However, I leave you a voicemail, but you haven't heard it yet. Is that in a form of communication? No because you haven't received the message. So communication is just more than talking. Talking and communication are not the same thing. For example, if I left you that voicemail and you didn't hear it, is that an effective form of communication? No. If I spoke to you in a language you did not understand, you'd be hearing me, but you wouldn't be understanding me. And that would not be an effective form of communication as well. So, for communication to be effective, both the listener and the li speaker have to communicate to each other in a way that both parties understand. Makes sense, right? Furthermore, when we use the word communication, we typically think of communication through words. But there are many different forms of communication, such as tonality, how we say our words, or through body language, how we express ourselves to others. So. Typically, when we use the word communication, we think of words. But we often communicate to each other through nonverbal ways. What are some of the ways we communicate nonverbally? That's right, through gestures, through facial expressions, and through body language. Those are what we call nonverbal forms of communication. So let's do some examples of nonverbal form of communication. When I do this, that signals I don't know, typically. When I do this, that means to stop. When I do this, it means good job. Those are some ways we communicate non-verbally. So in order for the listener to receive these non-verbal forms of communication, what did he or she have to do? That's right. They had a look. Oftentimes, nonverbal forms of communication say more than words do.